morning, everyone. I return after a long weekend of house sitting and dog sitting. Um, yeah, it was an exhausting experience, and I'm probably not going to do it again next year, even if my mom does ask nicely or shit, even if she offers to pay me. That was just a bit much, I think. But, um, yeah, let's get started with some Stardew, Heart of Winter. Um, for any of my fans out there, uh, yes, that I this being episode 14 of the Stardew playthrough, and the title is a reference to the show Jericho. I, I love that show, and I, uh, marathoned that shit during the lockdown, and it kind of put things into perspective, you know? This whole being in your house, Netflix, um, you know, cou uh, couch potato life, kind of chill in comparison to nuclear Armageddon. So let's get the game started. Oh yes, I have a phone uh, stand now, so I will be re able to read the chat at any point. All I have to do is just look over there. Excellent. Man, that intro is so chill. Stardew Valley has a great soundtrack. Ooh. I was adjusting the headset volume. It didn't like that. Um, let's try it again. If it crashes again, I might need to install the new version of Smappy in the mods. Uh, I don't know, though. It might have just been that I was ta uh, messing with the headset uh, volume. Please work. Okay, yes. They, ha they had us in the first half, not gonna lie. <laughs> yep, and then we gotta wait again, because I have absolutely stuffed this game to the gills with mods. Uh, nothing new, but I suppose this is the consequence of having so many mods installed. Everything seems to be in working order. Fantastic. Uh, let's watch the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, plum pudding. Wait. We've already... We've done this before. Yeah, and Pierre's gonna tell us about the new seeds. Oh yeah, for those of you who follow me, who don't follow me on Twitter... Um, I posted a meme, uh, because I noticed that, his, uh, Pierre looks like Harry Mason from, uh, Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Oh, shoot! The mahogany tree is in full, uh, is finally fully grown. I 
like snow like this. It reminds me of being a kid in the winter. Uh, me and my friends would all go outside into the back of the apartment that we lived in. Um, because there was a giant field in the playground, and we would all make snow forts, bring out our plastic lightsabers, and pretend it was a uh, hoth. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I, when I, most of my childhood, I spent on uh, the campus of a community college because my mom was going through grad school, and a lot of the kids there were also Star Wars, Lord of the Ring nerds. Uh, we we all liked the same stuff. It was a it was a great time. You know, I actually remembered something, and I kind of realized that child me was something of a war criminal. Uh, in that when we had our summer water gun fights, I would load up my super soaker, uh, my pressurized super soaker, pump the pressure to the maximum to where I was redlining it, and, oh god, um, I would load it with hot water, redline that shit, and spray, uh, spray the other kids with that. Like, I'd get the hottest water the sink could produce, and, uh, I mean, by the time I got it back outside, downstairs and back outside, I, it had cooled off a bit. But, uh, yeah, I was kind of an asshole. I would also pretend to be reloading, hide behind something, uh, say I was re, uh, repressurizing it, and actually I would then just uh, turn, uh, get around the tree and spray somebody. Or I would feign surrender so that all the other kids would approach me, and then I would, yeah, just unleash uh, unleash hell on them. I was too young and innocent to know what a war crime was. What can I say? <laughs> oh, man. I remember one, though, back to the uh, winter stuff. I remember one time uh, we all had a snowball fight, and uh, I actually blocked a snowball that was being thrown using my plastic lightsaber. I had, um, one of the shitty, you, you know, you pull the uh, you pull the red button down and you fling the blade and the blade comes out. Uh, no sound, no lights. It was, uh, one of those cheapo ones that you got at, like, the F Walgreens for, like, ten bucks. And I think I had that one for, god, a long time. But, uh, it, it was the Obi-Wan Episode One hilt and it had a green blade. And I like the green. I, uh, green is my fa is my second favorite lightsaber color. It used to be my number one favorite. Uh, now my favorite is a variant of that, being Viridian. Now let's ride to Robin's and move our stable so that it lines up with the house. The horse seems to be a bit short, don't you think? It's less a horse and more of a pony. Am I a hobbit? Is that why I'm able to ride a pony like it's a horse? Or maybe I'm a dwarf. But then again, dwarves have beards. Speaking of, has anyone else seen the uh, Rings of Power trailer and all the trolling that's going on in the comments and, all, and uh, how everyone's disliked it? That 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 is looking like pure concentrated cancer. That's what that is. I actually dropped a comment saying uh, evil cannot create. It can only corrupt. A very fa uh, uh, famous C.S. Lewis quote. Or no, J.R.R. Tolkien. Fuck. I'm not even doing anything that important. Why am I... Wait. Big Shed? That's new. Oh, move buildings button wasn't grayed out, it was a different thing. There we go. Yeah, look at that. That looks good. Perfect. I like that. And then we can build a big shed for 500 wood and 200 stone. Uh, let's see what Robin has in the shop, though. Uh, 
Um, nothing too fantastic. Man, not even some fancy windows. Alright, now, I'm not as tired as I was when I last played this game, so we can probably get away with going to the mines. Uh, yeah, let's not chance that. Let's go visit Alex and give him an egg. Alex likes eggs, right? Oh wait, no, he went up north to the, uh... Uh, graveyard and train station. A library book. Now this is interesting. No clue on how to get rid of it. Oh, Alex is... He's in the spa. In the middle of winter. Dude, what the fuck? My dude, why are you working out in the middle of winter? Here you go, Alex. This is cool. Thanks. Can't talk. Uh, yeah, I should get some peppers from my fridge and give them to Shane. With as bad as Rings of Power is going to be, I wonder if Amazon will lose the rights to make it to uh, Lord of the Rings content. Then again, did I? I don't know. Did Rings of Did Lord of the Rings go public domain? That'd be kind of cool, but at the same time, yeah, a bit worrisome. I, on one hand, I I do not think I do not like the way currently uh, copyright is handled. The public domain is more or less dead. But at the same time, um, you know, if if good stuff that hasn't been tainted, um, ruined by reboots and shit falls into public domain, you know, everyone and his brother is going to try and reboot it. it. It's, I'm not sure if there's really a winning, uh, stance on that issue. I hear that Mickey Mouse is actually about to go into public domain. Because apparently everyone's gotten wise to Disney uh, trying to hold on to Mickey Mouse to the heat of the, of the universe. Alright, let's donate that pottery to the museum that we got, huh? There we go. Now what's this new reward? Oh, it's the bear statue. Sweet. Let's see what these new books are, huh? Scarecrows, once you start getting, growing a lot of crops on your farm, you can expect to be visited by crows. Oh, you, in the morning, you might discover that a crow has made breakfast out of your hard work. One way to prevent these bothersome crows from eating your crops is to set up scarecrows near your crops. Be aware that scarecrows have limited range, so you'll need multiple if your farm is large. Scarecrows keep track of how many of the crows they've dis diverted. You can use that to tell if they're in a useful spot. Collectible scarecrows aren't just for looks. They will just the same as a regular model. Uh, actually, they work slightly better from what I've seen. Okay. 
Did you know anyone who beats the... Yes, we already got our uh, arcade machine. Real life character, a true cowboy from a hero from a prairie island in the Gem Sea. Interesting. Now that I didn't know. Study on diamond yields. After years of search in the mines, I believe I've learned something about diamond frequency. My research involved only the stones that are scattered about the mines. The ones that are broken with a pickaxe. Mineral yields from other sources require more research. Diamonds seem to only form at level 50 or greater than... At level 50, approximately 1 in 500 stones will be diamond rich. After level, frequent, after level 50, the frequency of the diamond formation seems to increase by about... Uh, I don't know how much that is, but that is less than a that is less than a percent uh, per level. Quite a rare gem, M Jasper. Interesting. I'm tempted to say let's go see if we can find a diamond, but I don't want to have to reboot the game. We'll do that. To, we will do that tomorrow when we have better luck. Instead, let's go fishing. coming too. Why the fuck not? Oh yeah! Let's see if we can fish up a sea cucumber. Or a squid. Oh yeah, so I got done reading another Star Wars book over the weekend, uh, Cloak of the S of Deception by James Lucino, and it's probably the most meh book in the entire expanded universe. Not a lot of consequence happens in it. It's basically just preamble to Phantom Menace. Uh, Triad Federation is strong-arming planets and jacking up prices. The Senate wants to um, regulate them. There's a group of terrorists that are trying to fight the Trade Federation. Uh, and Palpatine's kind of playing all of these different factions against each other. Uh, the Jedi aren't really that effective in figuring out the bigger picture. And only really solve things on the surface level. It's... It's not great. It's not bad by any means, it's just meh. I'm more interested in uh, Darth Maul Shadowhunter, since I got that one to, uh, coming up next on my uh, lineup. Okay, what shall we dispose of? Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Sardine. Um, decisions, decisions. Driftwood. Yeah, it's so surprising to, th uh, to think that James Lucino, the same guy who wrote Darth Plagueis and Darth Maul Lockdown, 
wrote a meh book. Uh, I suppose they can't all be bangers. I've actually bought Darth Maul Shadowhunter twice. There was the original version, which was so bad that I actually deleted it from my Audible library uh, because they use... They use a the sound of an actual motorcycle f for a hover bike. And that just completely took me out of the experience. Uh, and then I bought the re-release, which was not only, which was unabridged and, from what I've heard, re-recorded completely. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Because I've heard good things about the book, um, from reviews. Wait a minute. No. 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 And also no. And let's craft that quality fertilizer. Let's get those chili peppers from the fridge, huh? One for Pam and one for Shane. Ride to the bar. It's too bad that the, um... Robin's Carpentry Shop doesn't sell uh, cloth for the mill. I would totally buy for that. Because cloth is stupid expensive. Uh, it takes a long time to make it. Alright, Shane is at that many hearts. It's been an interesting grid ball season. Or so I hear. I've missed a ton of the games. this one to Pam. You did good with this one, kid. Thanks. Pam seems a bit out of it. You better leave her alone right now. Um... Nah. I was gonna give uh, Andy a beer, but I'm like, nah. I like how the roof of the, uh, of the stable and the house connect like that. That's a really nice touch. Oh, dang. My ossified blade one-shot the bat. That's pretty sweet. Hmm. Eight iron...
Now, do we have uh, the five seaweed, or do we need the one? Yes, that's the last seaweed we need. Now we can just now we just need to get some stone, and we can build a fish pond. Oh yes. So I was thinking about future streams because I tend to do that, and I would like to do a Fallout Who Vegas stream. That's good. we're gonna get a lot of content out of that. Um, cause it, I have, uh, now you might be asking yourself, did you, don't you mean Fallout Who Vegas, or New Vegas? Uh, no. There exists a Doctor Who mod for Fallout New Vegas, and it is compatible with Tale of Two Wastelands. So, yeah, I would love to do a stream of that at some point in the future, but there's one thing. The radio. I'm not playing Fallout without the radio. That's just not... That's not an option. So... I can't do it on Twitch. At least I don't think I can. Because uh, if you get three copyright strikes on your streams, Twitch can and most likely will terminate your account. That said, that's not going to stop me. But I'm not going to post the streams to Twitch. I will likely be putting them up on YouTube as an exclusive. Or BitChute. Uh, because BitChute doesn't want, uh, or Rumble. BitChute, Rumble, or YouTube. I haven't decided yet. But, um, BitChute isn't, like, constantly getting copyright strikes, neither is Rumble. And I actually have a BitChute account where I've posted, uh, stuff to test how, like, strict the copyright system is. It is not strict at all. Uh, I actually uploaded the entirety of the, uh, Samurai Jack animated Clone Wars to my bit shoot to see uh, if it would get taken down, and it still hasn't. Alright, we have 298 stone, 84 wood, we're going to need more wood. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Yes, I will sleep for the evening. Okay, so we got 1,000. We're getting closer to getting that gold watering can. Oh man, luck must be really bad today. I'm even wearing my lucky shorts and have my lucky clover. Well, you know the old saying, you can't win them all. seeds, one pine cone, one uh, acorn. Oh man, look at that energy. We didn't recover anything. I guess it's because it recovers health first, then energy? I don't know. Um, duck mayonnaise. 
Let's go give Alex one of the eggs. So I've noticed that on YouTube, somebody has been watching um, my uploads on the regular, or rather consistently. I don't know who it is. I asked my dad about it, because he, uh, he subscribed to my YouTube channel recently. And uh, he says he's been meaning to, but he hasn't gotten around to it. So, I don't know who it is, but whoever you are, thank you if you're here right now. Really appreciate that. Oh, the Festival of Ice. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um... Yes, eat the field snack. Okay, I, I need to ship some of these things, because otherwise we are going to be completely full on inventory, and we need that somewhat open for the ice festival. eggs, two of them. Wow, that's cool. The chanterelle, the morel, and the red mushroom all go in the fridge. Actually, yeah, we'll hold on to that. And then I think you can make a roots platter from, yeah, a cave carrot and a winter root. And then let's go to the butter churn and change out the milk. Too bad they won't, don't have shipping bins inside the barns. I wonder if there's a way you, you can do that or if there's a mod for that. That was one of the cool things about Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town is that all your animal buildings had shipping bins inside them. Oh hey, it's the pig and the merchant. Frozen drink. Winter dining table. Yeah! I want to, however... Oh, and the Tree of the Winter Star. I have enough for both, but I want to get that gold watering can. I guess that'll be a year two thing. We'll have to play it pragmatically this time around. Welcome to the, welcome to the Festival of Ice. The highlight of today's festival is the ice fishing competition. We set up the frozen lake and, lo and stocked it with fish. Just let me know when you're ready to complete. Did I ever tell you how George and I first met? He actually pelted me with a snowball in the very first, uh, in this very festival. Oof. Wife dragged me out here into the cold for this. He was a gentleman back then, and came over to see if I was okay. I'm not very creative when it comes to snowmen. That's okay, Maru. Neither am I. I just build ones that look like this guy over here. Look at that. That is the peak snowman performance right there. How's winter coming along for you, Connor? I should have worn an extra layer. Are you practicing in the fish com uh, fishing competition? Oh, are you participating in the fishing competition? The forest looks beautiful in the winter, doesn't it? 
Robin would make an ice castle. I'm sorry, but I'm carving ice par parapets. Oh, I'm sorry, but carving ice parapets requires my undivided attention. When I was younger, my father and I loved to fish together. Haven't fished at all since then. I think you'll do great in the contest, Connor. Best of luck to you, honey. Wow. Oh, ice! A beautiful material to sculpt in, but so impertinent, uh, impermanent. Hi, Victor. Hi, Sophie. Mmm, so pretty here. There's no food, but that's okay. I brought snacks. I must say, I'm looking forward to seeing Willie show him off his fishing skills. You can tell how talented he is. He's been fishing all of his life. Man, you know, the more I think about it, the more I realize that Victor is not a common name. It might have been at one point, but I've only met one person in real life who was named Victor. He was a cool dude. I overheard Willie talking about you. I'll, it'll be a close match between you two. Good luck fishing, Connor. Cold? Nah, I never get cold. Hey, Connor. Are you gonna enter the ice fishing competition? Oh, hey, it's Marasmus. What you doing all the way out here, my dude? There's a significant con uh, concentration of mana in this spot. I must analyze its origin. You should head back to the others, Connor. All right, Gandalf. Oh, I thought I could walk through there. Wouldn't it be cool if you could crawl inside the igloos? It's a snow goon. Hi, Marnie. I feel bad for all the poor and cold animals out there. Oh. I feel bad for all the poor cold animals out there. So cold. Extreme temperatures can put your body under a lot of stress, so make sure to bundle up. Oh, and enjoy the festival. Sorry, there's no food. Just wait until the feast of the winter star. You'll be stuffed for days. Wow, this snowman needs a makeover. Who made this? Emily started helping me without any provocation. Does that mean something? Oh, Clint. Hi, Shane. If it was up to me, I'd probably have a pizza festival at the saloon instead. You know what? I probably should have worn a jacket. I'm, enter I'm entering the ice fishing competition today. Why not? It's rare that Willie ever loses, though. Snowmen are okay, I guess. But I'm mostly looking forward to the spring. Hi, Haley. I guess winter isn't all bad. Playing in the snow can be fun! The snow is so cold. I can't feel my fingers anymore. What do you think of my snow goon? I want to give him a carrot nose! Hmm, a snowman. What, uh, what should we make? A classic one. Carrot nose and a top hat and scarf. I guess maybe it's best to stick with the classics, huh? Dude. Oh man, that reminded me of something. I saw this really sweet ice sculpture of a wampa once. Um, I think it was for like some sort of contest that was going on. I can't remember. I saw it in like a magazine though. This was this was back before the internet was common, like household thing. Um, 
If you spot any frost slimes, alert me. We're deep in the forest. Anything could be out there in the woods. And Pam, what are you doing all the way over here? I plan on winning the ice fishing competition. Willie's gonna be pretty hard to beat, though. He does this kind of stuff day and night. I saw a big fish down there. Hey, Connor. Ready for some ice fishing? Yeah, I'll do my best. That's the spirit. Are you ready to compete in the ice fishing competition? Yeah, let's do this. All right, everyone. Let's begin this year's ice fishing competition. Contestants, your, goals, uh, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can in two minutes using the provided fishing rods. You must catch our fi your fish here from these holes in the ice. Well, is everybody ready? Begin! Perfect. This is probably one of the more easy to win festival games, I think. Lots of fishing going on in this game, uh, in this episode. Oh, come on. At least we got another one right. Oh, fart. Wow, that's a lot of fish. Oh, the smell. Now for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition. with five big slimy fish. Here's your prize. Enjoy. Nice. Well, that's it for this year's Festival of Ice, everyone. Thank you for coming. Now, let's release these poor fish. That was pretty cool. Can't believe I won. Well, time to head home.
Well, we killed the ice slime. Or as I like to call them, the slushies. We got the mayonnaise and the, the butter put in the shipping bin. Oh yeah, look at that. Now we have all the gold we need to upgrade our watering can. Water. put the bear statue that's a good that's a good question now we've got some wine red baneberry wine Off to Clint's. Actually, wait. First, we should grab the uh, mushrooms.
There we go. And then I think the mayonnaise maker should be finished. There we go. There. Now we go off to Clint's Blacksmith to get our watering can upgraded to gold. Oh, not that. We need those. Oh, Pam's fishing? Hey, kid. How's the farm life? Taking a break? I'm sure you have better things to do than watch me fish. Farm life is good. Growing crops, the usual. Mm, well, that's good, I guess. Must be nice to own a m that much land. Hogwash! I had the thing! Ugh, why has this got to be so difficult? I've been at this for hours. I need a drink. I just... I want to do something right for a change. My ex, my savings, my family... I screw it all up. All I've done is put in with my life is put this dirty metal roof over her head. And even then, she... Get lost, kid. You ain't helping by being here. Come on, try again. Trust me. Fishing takes time to learn. Yeah, I figured that. Oh well, it's not like I've got anything better to do. I've already screwed up my marriage and my job situation. Might as well just sit here and stare at the water. I caught one. I actually got him. And he's a big sucker, too. Maybe I'm not so bad at this after all. It should be edible, right? There you are. Oh, hi, Connor. Mom, we're low on food, so I'm going to head over to the store to pick up some for dinner. Well, is that a fish? Darn right it is. I just caught it. You don't need to go anywhere, darling. We'll be having seafood tonight. Really? Great! I can help you cook it. I'll clear the counter right now. Connor, we'll talk later, okay? Thanks for the encouraging words, kid. I ain't worth much, but I guess I can do something right every once in a while. And this will save us some cash, so maybe I've earned some saloon time later. Still got to figure out how to skin it, though. Well, that was nice. Pam caught a fish. Hello, Claire. Thank you. There was a rude customer from out of town yesterday. When that happens, I just have to be nice. I'm not allowed to argue or even walk away. Customer service isn't always easy. Shane is Jazz's godfather. Has anyone mentioned that to you yet? No. Let's see, is Alex here? Nope, he's over at the spa. I've got to be, uh, I've got, 
I've got to balance the budget before the end of the year. I hope I don't have to cut any festivals just to keep minimum for basic maintenance. I imagine I'll find a way. I always do. But there are no guarantees. Well, maybe you didn't. No, no, that's spoilers. Hiya, Clint. Got a job for you. Oh no, we don't want to crack those open today. Thanks, I'll get started on it, uh, this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple of days. Uh, it is 11.05. Wager, we've got about one more hour and then I've got to head to bed. Oh yeah, we're going to try and catch that train. I don't think we'll get anything. We might be too late already, but it's worth a shot. Oh, look at that! Lumber! Say hi to Alex. This is cool. Thanks. Connor, farm boy. All right. So Shane, we've maxed out friendship with Claire as well. Haley, um, we'll probably max out with Alex. Possibly Linus. What are you doing here? Thanks for not shunning me, Connor. It takes a lot of wisdom to override your base in instincts. I'm a human just like everyone else. I have a different lifestyle. Well, I just have a different lifestyle. Combat level at six. 
I wonder if the uh, Adventures Guild is sending it, selling anything interesting. I haven't checked in with them in a while. Marlin told me so much about. My name is Alessa. I hail from the castle village. Alessa lived in Stardew Valley years ago. She's a talented adventurer. I requested her aid. Slimes were duplicating on the cavern ceilings. Too high for me to reach with a sword. I'm not as good of a shot as I used to be. You're too hard on yourself, Marlin. If you require my bow again, don't hesitate to ask. Besides, I quite enjoy visiting the valley. I must take my leave. Apologies for cutting our introduction short, Connor. Until next time, Marlin. Farewell, Alessa. Well then. Back to it. Interesting. Four defense, two immunity. Oh wow, so... That's very interesting. Tales of the Crimson Sands by Draco M. Equipment and Supplies Manifest. Tenth of May, twelve D three. I don't know. Four maces, six daggers, nine swords, ten hero elixirs, and five armor elixirs. Interesting. Photo album. You see many pictures of the old adventurers posing for a photo together. Gems collected from expeditions in the mines. Adventure gear is crafted on this table. Neat. Reading these manifests takes all day. It takes a toll, man. Okay, so we are almost halfway there with the bats. We're not even close with the slimes. We're not even close with the duggies, which I think are the uh, mole type things that bury out and burrow under this topsoil in the caves. 22 out of 60 rock crabs. And then there's some stuff that's just not set. Occasionally infuses the wear with warrior energy after slaying a monster. Hmm. All right, we got some copper.
cut down some of these trees, huh? Because we need lumber. We will need that. The quarry is damn near useless. Unless you were to say set it up with crystallariums. Probably what we will end up doing. Two hundred and thirty seven wood. Oh cool, a trilobite. I haven't gotten that to the museum yet. My inventory is full, you say. There we go. Um, what do we have that can be sold? Well, I guess this, uh, winter root wouldn't hurt. Nah. There we go. It's too bad you can't jump the fences with your horse like you could in uh, Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. I wonder if there's a mod for that. There we go, got a crystal fruit from that. Yes, I know it's getting late.
and uh, yeah, let's get into bed, huh? There we go. 3,000 gold in a single day. some use for this sapling. This, uh, this vanilla bean has and houses many arcane uh, this vanilla bean houses many arcane properties and wizards around the world have used it for centuries in potions and her hermetics. The fact that it tastes delicious in ice cream is a mere coincidence. M. Rasmodius, a wizard. I found this in a drawer somewhere. Thought you could use it. Bam. An energy tonic. How much energy? 500 energy? Holy crap. Okay, that's going in the fridge for a special occasion. It takes 28 days for the vanilla bean sapling to mature. Let's plant it in our uh, in our orchard. Sebastian's birthday. We could go hunting for a frozen tear in the mines. Or... Oh, you know what? I know what he'll, I'll do. It's a wine. you that today is Sebastian's birthday. He might look and act a bit depressed, but he sure loves uh, to learn about the unknown. Lewis. Well, I can't pet the dog though if it's standing there. Now let's head off to Robin's to give Shane a birthday present. I'm sure he'd like some wine. A secret note. What 
you got, Robin? Um, yeah, I'll buy a wall, a uh, red rug. Oh, hey, give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. I just needed to finish working on what... Oh, I just need to finish what I was working on. What were you working on? I do freelance work as a programmer. That was an instant message from Sam. I guess he wants to hang out. Ugh, I don't really feel like going out today. Oh, hi, Connor. Sebi, I know you don't like it when I come in here, but I ran into Abigail at the store, and she said she was looking for you. Did you tell her I'm working? I did, but she said she'd probably stop by anyway. <sighs> no one takes my job seriously. No one ever bothers Mar when she's working at the clinic. Does everyone think I'm just surfing the web all day? <sighs> oh man, the pains of working from home as a programmer. asked that one before. Why don't you want to see your friends? I, I like having friends. I just need a lot of time alone to balance out social stuff. Sam's the opposite. He goes crazy if he's alone for too long. Maybe that's why I like computers so much. They're engaging, straightforward, and unselfish. Quite the opposite of a lot of people I know. Well, I should get back to work. I need to get this module finished by tomorrow. Happy birthday, Sebastian. Oh, wow. He did not like the wine. I'm sorry. I should have just spawned in a frozen tear. Hi, Linus. Got a mushroom for you. This is a great gift. Thank you. I'm sure you understand why I'm cautious of strangers. But let's put that in the past, okay? You and I are friends now, I think.
Yeah, there we go. That's better. Now let's go to the museum and donate the Trilobite, huh? Oh, we've already donated it. It does make me feel sleepy. Let's go and give a, let's go give some attention to the cow. Yeah, it is 11.34 at night, folks. This is probably going to be the last day. Now, crystal fruit wine actually sells for quite a bit. So we're going to try and collect as much crystal fruit as we can. Oh, yeah. Where could this possibly? The bushes grow red bane berries during the summer. 
Okay. I can't wait to get to uh, foraging level 10 and get botanist perk. Because then I only ever will forage purple uh, items. Iridium quality items. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. And we can always come back for it later. Let's pet the dog. All right. That's a decent amount of gold for today. Yeah, if you folks couldn't tell, winter is the slow season. All right, we've got enough time left for one more day.
One day more, another day, another destiny. I'm not, no, I'm for I should not be singing songs from Les Mis. mushroom boxes in here. It'd be cool if the game let you build more. Don't eat the red mushroom, Seth. You'll regret that. Nice, some pine tar. What does the pine tar make again? I'm trying to remember. One copper bar, ten hardwood, forty-five stone, forty-five wood. Okay. Let's buy one. Oh wait, we wait and we wait for ten minutes. Hi, Marnie. get ourselves a goat. Hmm. Ace, yeah, we'll name our goat Ace. Let's go get that watering can, huh? Hi, Penny. Oh, hi, Connor. Sorry, I didn't sleep much last night. I was up late. Uh, reading. 
it's a really good book. I can't put it down. Hi, Susan. I often see Alex visiting the bathhouse. The workout room is kept in good condition. Maybe because no one but Alex uses it. Oh, prehistoric rib. Nice. Alright, we got our gold watering can. So now we can water nine squares at once. That's actually quite the step up from what we had been doing. Now let's go fishing. Got it. A lingcod.
that down here. Let's go kill some bats. Excuse me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's off to the mines we go. skull laid to rest.
Alex's strength training diet. Salmon, or no, complete dinner, or no, complete breakfast, salmon dinner. I've learned to love this food. I can feel the protein. Interesting. It is almost time to head back to the mines. Or the farm, excuse me. I love your town during this time of year. Alright, and with that, folks, I think it is time for me to hit the sack. Both in-game and IRL. I've had fun. I certainly hope you've all enjoyed yourself. I will see you all tomorrow evening with more Stardew. Good night.